What's your read on Groupon? Did they just go public way too early? I mean, I've heard that there was a lot of debate um, about about that, and we reported that it was you know really um, Eric Latowski and, and Oliver Samwer who were sort of banging the fist and saying you got to go now, and a lot of the Silicon Valley investors in the company were saying this is a massive mistake. Well. Um, I was definitely in the category of more time is private is better, um, and that there were some fundamental things to set up to do. I, you know, I think Andrew is a good product-driven CEO, mm -hmm. uh, and I think that the question, the part of the challenge has been, is there's been so many storms around the going public process that it diverts focus from the product stuff because really. You know, the strategy, and I'm not, I have no insider information, position, whatever on Groupon, I'm speaking entirely as a third party, they, they need to focus on how do we build out these new products. And actually part of the reason I was willing to invest is because back when we did the investment round from Greylock, Andrew had the idea for Groupon now. I thought it was a good idea. I thought it should be really focused on how do you really, how do you really uh, broaden out Groupon now as what you do. And I think part of the consequence of the whole going public process has been Tons and tons of, you know, uh, very difficult, you know, marketing, press, other kinds of things that occupy. You, they, once they happen, they occupy tons of management time, mm -hmm. and that 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 defocuses you even when you try not to from the key things you need to be doing. Mm -hmm. And I didn't think it was going to be. I just thought that it was like, look, more time operating privately allows you to focus only on the things you want. And I, I wasn't thinking, oh, you're going to run in all these storms. I was just like, look, the going public process is distracting. Right. Like there's a huge amount of time that goes into it. Stay focused on the product and what you're doing. Get to that later was my thing. Not, oh, you're going to, you haven't sufficiently built up. Because part of going public, you want to have built up enough experience around the entire, you want, you want to have a good sense of what the, 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 the media sphere, like not just media, but also blog sphere, is going to say about you in default because all of a sudden you go quiet. Yeah. Right? So you go quiet. What is the natural conversation going to be? I, and you want to have a pretty good sense of that. That's one of the checklist items about getting ready to go out. And they hadn't really done that. Mm -hmm. And so they ran into a terrible storm and they mishandled some responses, like writing memos that got leaked and you know, other kinds of things. As, and that's all distracted. Mm -hmm. right, so, do you think, in hindsight, they should have taken the Google deal? I don't think so. Um, uh, you know, I'm always bullish if 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 you have two factors, which is good product-oriented people with a vision and a willingness and an energy to go long. I'm almost always like like it takes a lot on the other side mm -hmm. to to say, no, no, <laughs> right, sell. So you should sell. Yeah. Um, now, sometimes it might be, you know, well, we have this huge problem with gambling transactions, right, <laughs> right as a <laughs> historical instance. Most of our profitability <laughs> is illegal. Yes, right, so, um, uh, you know, you have these kinds of potential problems that you say, well, that's a big enough problem that even when you have those two things, you should sell, but by default, it's, you know. If someone wants to go long, they should go long. They should go long. Um, do you think Groupon turns it around? Do you think Andrew survives as the CEO? Well, I hope so. Um, I think there's a good shot. I think he has very good product sensibilities. I think hopefully, I mean, he's got a good capital base. I actually, I think that people under-report, I think they have generally a much better NPS with their merchants than most people think. They generally, like, because people kind of go, oh, there's some people who only accept deals and their merchants must hate them. Actually, in fact, Getting a bunch of customers is actually pretty useful, mm -hmm. and so I think that they, um, uh, you know, I think that there's much more of a of an asset base there for them to do something. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, I think that they have to focus on it, and I think that the game's still in front of them.